The reality of the big seven-player Maple Leaf Oiler trade starting to set in. Last set in sports line, 53% of those that tried our phone poll liked the deal. 47% did not. We'll try the poll again tonight on the Late Show. See what the difference is 24 hours later. Meanwhile, the Garden's the hot spot today, and it will be tomorrow night. Today, two of the three new Leafs reported for duty. Some of the traded players may face their old teammates, and the Leafs host the Oilers at the Gardens in preseason play tomorrow night. Bill Burt attended today's session and has the story. Late this morning, Leaf assistant Mike Kitchen ushered both Grant Fuhr and Craig Berube to their new home. Conspicuous by his absence was Glenn Anderson, vacationing somewhere in the Caribbean. Anderson had reached a contractual impasse with Glenn Sather. As the Leafs went through their paces on the ice, there was a feeling Grant Fuhr had instantly made them a better team. Hopefully, like you say, we, he can stand on his head a few nights when we're not all there, and, uh, and he'll steal a few games for us, and, uh, and hopefully... Uh, He'll pick our play up that much, knowing that uh, there's a better goaltender in net than uh, than we've ever had. I guess you got to hope that uh, Grant Fuhr is going to have a positive influence on you. Well, I hope so. You know, working with the best in the world certainly did did, did a lot for Billy Ranford, and, and uh, hopefully he can show me a lot of things. And and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's put us in a position where. The management said we're not going to put up with waiting a month, two months, or two years to win. We want to win right now and turn this thing around. At 28, Fuhr has already played with five Stanley Cup winners and two Canada Cup champions. Despite his accomplishments, he's not about to rest on his laurels. I think I get smarter as I get older. So, I mean, the smarter you get, the better you got to get. So I hope I keep getting better and better. Now, obviously, uh, Cliff has called you the cornerstone of this franchise. Uh, that puts a lot of weight on your shoulders. I don't think so. My job doesn't change. I mean, I still have to do the same old thing, stop the puck. So I figure if I'm doing my job, then uh, everybody else will do theirs and we'll be fine. You're liable to see a lot more shots with this team than you did with Edmonton, especially in their heyday. That's not so bad. I mean, I like a lot of work. So I think the more work you get, the better you get. And the better you get, the more you help out. Rube, who hails from the Edmonton area, knows his role. I go up and down my wing, play hard, and, you know, I'm going to do the fight when I have to, and it's, just, it's, a, it's a team game, you know, it's different guys doing things, you know, like, you know, I'm not going to be the only guy fighting, there's other guys fighting, it's just, you know, I'm, you know, I had toughness, but I think I had other things, too. We've addressed three, uh, what a lot of people consider weaknesses in our team, uh, getting a number one goaltender and an everyday goaltender, and, uh, Two, uh, speed on the forward line, which uh, I know that Glenn can still skate. And three, some toughness up front. Uh, the club uh, still uh, can use reinforcing in a lot of areas. Uh, uh, center ice in particular, speed, uh, a defenseman. Daniel Merwa, closest friend of Vince Danfus on the Leafs, admitted to, in his words, feeling weird. Peter Zezel said at least two of the traded players were shaken. I think that uh, Vinny was a little upset at the trade and things like that. He was a little nervous even during training camp about what was going to happen. And uh, I think some of the guys weren't really expecting it. Luke, I don't think, was expecting it that much. Criticism of the deal involves a trend over the last year or so where the Maple Leafs have dealt away youth to pick up veterans. We gave up some young players. Uh, we made a calculated determination that we can replace that youth down the road because our long-term goal uh, hasn't changed whatsoever. We're committed to uh, building this team up to the point where it can consistently be in the top third of the league. As one of the veterans told me, there has been a cancer in the Leaf dressing room for much too long. The cancer? Accepting defeat. This bold move by Cliff Fletcher is obviously designed to eradicate such an atmosphere.